Imagine a landscape stretching out with nothing but sand and silence, baked by the sun for thousands of years. High up in the cliffs overlooking the Dead Sea, hidden caves sat untouched for centuries. Then, in 1947, a Bedouin shepherd looking for a lost goat happened upon one of these caves and found clay jars inside. Inside those jars were ancient scrolls made from parchment and papyrus, what we now call the Dead Sea Scrolls. These incredible texts connect us directly to a pivotal time in history, preserving the oldest known manuscripts of the Hebrew Bible. But the scrolls also reveal the beliefs of a mysterious Jewish group, probably the Essenes, who lived out here in the desert, waiting for a dramatic battle between good and evil. This discovery was truly remarkable, a hidden library that survived Roman invasions and the collapse of empires. The scrolls promise to fill in gaps in our history, giving us a rare look at the ideas that shaped Judaism and eventually led to Christianity. But the collection was massive, over 900 manuscripts, broken into tens of thousands of fragments. Piecing them together became a huge challenge, with most pieces missing or too damaged to recognize. For decades, experts have worked tirelessly to read the faded writing and uncover their secrets. These scrolls are like messages in bottles, drifting across the sea of time. For more than 70 years, we've been trying to make sense of their message, searching for clues about our past and who we are today. The Dead Sea Scrolls are still one of the most important archaeological discoveries of the 20th century, and even now, their secrets are still being revealed. Translating the Dead Sea Scrolls is an act of intellectual archaeology. The scrolls endured centuries of decay, Many are now just tiny, brittle fragments. The ink has faded, sometimes becoming invisible to the naked eye. Imagine trying to read a newspaper torn into a thousand pieces and buried for centuries. Scholars had to sort fragments by parchment, handwriting, and content. A monumental task of pattern recognition. Sometimes, only half a word remains, and the rest must be found among thousands of fragments. The language itself is another barrier ancient Hebrew and Aramaic, written without vowels or punctuation, full of abbreviations. Every word is a clue to a forgotten world. Progress was slow. Teams could spend a lifetime on a single manuscript. Tools evolved from magnifying glasses to infrared photography, but the human brain can only process so much. The sheer volume and complexity pushed the limits of traditional scholarship. Bias and fatigue crept in. The puzzle demanded a new kind of tool, a new kind of mind. Enter the age of artificial intelligence. Could a machine see patterns that humans missed? The answer would change everything. To solve this ancient puzzle, we needed a new way to think, quantum AI. Unlike ordinary computers, which process information as ones and zeros, quantum computers use qubits, which can be both at once. This allows them to explore countless possibilities simultaneously. Language is complex, a web of context and ambiguity. A quantum AI can weigh all potential meanings at once, finding the most coherent interpretation. It sees subtle patterns in grammar and syntax invisible to human scholars. We stand at the intersection of the ancient and the futuristic fragile scrolls and a machine built from the fabric of reality. By bringing these worlds together, we're not just translating faster. We're asking a new kind of intelligence to reveal connections and secrets hidden for centuries. The past and the future are now in conversation. Quantum AI is more than a tool. It's a partner in discovery. The Dead Sea Scrolls are its first great test. What would it find? How do you teach a quantum machine to read ancient handwriting? Researchers began by digitizing high-resolution images of every fragment. They fed the AI a vast library of ancient Hebrew and Aramaic texts, building its knowledge of language and structure. Next, the AI learned to analyze handwriting. No two scribes write the same way. It measured the curvature of strokes, the angle of lines, and the unique fingerprint of each scribe. The AI could group fragments by handwriting, even if the text didn't connect. This allowed it to reconstruct manuscripts from scattered pieces. Then, using its language knowledge, it proposed ways to fit fragments together, generating thousands of possible reconstructions. Human scholars reviewed the AI's suggestions, providing historical context and interpretation. It was a partnership, 
The machine handled the sorting and calculation. Humans brought meaning. Together, they tackled a puzzle that had stumped generations. The results were astonishing. The first major revelation from quantum AI was subtle but profound. While analyzing the Great Isaiah Scroll, the AI detected a shift in handwriting halfway through. What looked like the work of a single scribe was actually two, one seamlessly imitating the other. This ghost scribe had gone unnoticed for 70 years. The discovery challenges the idea of a single author, revealing a collaborative, evolving process. Sacred texts were not just written, they were assembled and curated by a community. The AI uncovered the invisible actions and intentions of the people behind the words. It made the ancient world feel more alive and human. Even the most revered documents have complex human stories. The ghost in the manuscript had finally been found. The quantum AI's work went beyond identifying scribes. As it pieced together fragments, entirely new texts emerged. Ideas and stories lost to time. One was a detailed solar calendar, radically different from the lunar calendar of Jerusalem's temple. This revealed the Qumran community's separate identity and their conflict with mainstream Judaism. Another reconstruction, the Book of Giants, expanded on the myth of the Nephilim, giant offspring of angels and humans. The AI stitched together a narrative of dreams, doom, and the prophet Enoch. These discoveries show the Second Temple period was a vibrant mix of competing beliefs and mythologies. The religious landscape was not monolithic, but a cauldron of ideas. Thanks to quantum AI, we're hearing voices once lost, conversations that shaped history. The past is richer and stranger than we imagined. The scrolls are not just relics, they're living debates. And now we can finally listen in. These discoveries do more than add facts. They change how we see the past. History is a tapestry, and the AI has helped us find missing threads and see new patterns. The second scribe in the Isaiah scroll reminds us, History is made by people, full of collaboration and complexity. For millions, these texts are the bedrock of faith. The new findings enrich, not undermine that faith, showing a winding road of spiritual creativity and debate. Quantum AI marks a paradigm shift for the humanities. It empowers historians and archaeologists, freeing them to focus on meaning and context. The collaboration between human and machine is the real story. We brought our deepest questions to a machine built from our deepest science. The result? A richer, more human story. Sacred texts were crafted by human hands, not dropped from the heavens. Our history is a living document, still being written. Decoding the Dead Sea Scrolls with quantum AI is just the beginning. It proves what's possible when advanced technology meets ancient mystery. What other secrets wait in unreadable texts and lost languages? Charred scrolls from Herculaneum, undeciphered scripts from the Indus Valley. Each is a time capsule. With tools like quantum AI, we have a key for these ancient locks. Imagine digitally unrolling a burnt scroll or teaching an AI to decode a lost language. The possibilities are vast. This journey is deeply human, driven by our need to understand where we come from. From ancient astronomers to quantum physicists, the quest for knowledge continues. Let's use our new tools to explore the caves, pyramids, and forgotten libraries. The universe hides its secrets in physics. Humanity hides them in language. Let's see what else we can find. The cosmos of human history awaits.